Hello everyone, this is Larry, your instructor for financial accounting. I want to show you an example for recording unearned revenue. This is also known as recording a deferral. So we're going to do an example with unearned revenue. But before we do that, let's do an example that is not a deferral, does not involve unearned revenue. Let's say for this transaction, our company has performed $5,000 worth of service for a customer on account. So what we're doing here is we've done work for a customer. We've delivered the work to them. But since this is on account, we've not yet received the payment from the customer. So we'll figure that we build this customer and we'll be receiving the payment, say, in a month or so. So what's the debit and what's the credit that is recorded in the journal? We debit accounts receivable for the $5,000 that we are owed because we have not yet received the cash. The cash is forthcoming. Hopefully we'll be getting that within a month or so, but we don't have the cash yet for the work we did. So we debited accounts receivable for $5,000. That's an asset. What did we credit? The revenue account. In this case, we called our revenue account service revenue because we're a company that performs service. But if we were a company that sells things, we might have called this account sales revenue. A university might call it tuition revenue. In our case, we've called this service revenue and we have credited it. The reason we can credit our revenue account is because we have done the work. Because we have completed the work, we have the right to credit our revenue account. If we're a company that sells goods, we can credit the revenue account when we have delivered the goods, but that must be done before we can credit revenue. We haven't received the cash yet, but we've done the work. So we've credited revenue, debited accounts receivable, and this is an example which you may know of as an accrual, where in this case, the money will move afterwards, after the work has been done. And of course, we can do this in T accounts too. Here's our accounts receivable T account. And here's our service revenue T account. And to record the accrual, we can debit the $5,000 and credit the $5,000 to accounts receivable and service revenue, respectively. Now, let's do an example of a deferral. We just did an example of an accrual. This is now a deferral. In this case, our company is receiving a cash advance of $5,000 from a customer. It's the opposite of the example we just did. The accrual example that we did a moment ago we did the work before receiving the money. The money is coming later. In this deferral example, we are getting the money before we do the work. We're receiving the money today at the cash advance, and we're going to have to do the work for the customer later. So how do we record this in the journal? This is a deferral. Well, since we've received this money up front, clearly we're going to debit cash. Our cash just went up by $5,000, so we'll debit the cash account for $5,000. Now, this is the tricky part. What do we credit? We cannot credit the revenue account. Why? Because we have not yet done the work. Or in the case of a company that sells things, not yet delivered the goods. If we have not yet done the work for a service company, if we have not yet delivered the goods, if we're a product company, we cannot credit revenue. So folks, what is the name of the account that we will credit instead? It is called unearned revenue. And we will credit it for $5,000. Again, because we have not yet done the work. We've debited cash. The money moved to us today, but we are crediting unearned revenue for the $5,000. We are not permitted to credit revenue because we did not yet do the work. We did not yet deliver the goods. Before we go any further, can anyone 
Yes, what kind of an account is unearned revenue? Many students might say, well, it's a revenue account. I see the word right there. It says revenue. No, this is not a revenue account. This will not go on the income statement. Because it is unearned revenue, this special account is actually a liability account. This is a liability because we have not yet done the work that we received the cash for. And we are going to have to do that work for the customer sometime in the future or we need to give the money back. So this liability account, unearned revenue, will appear on the balance sheet under liabilities. While we're at it, let's do this as T accounts. To record this deferral, showing it in T accounts, this cash advance, we debit cash for the $5,000. And again, since we did not yet do the work, we credit the account that is known as unearned revenue for $5,000. Now let's take this one step further. We have recorded our unearned revenue. We've recorded the deferral. What will happen if the next month after we receive this cash advance, we do half of the work that we've been paid for? Now this is just our example. It's possible the next month we won't yet complete any of the work. We might do all of the work, but let's say we're going to do half of the work that we've been paid for in advance, the $5,000. Folks, to make that adjustment on the books the following month, what would we debit and what would we credit? We're going to need another T account over here. We'll show this in T accounts. If we have done half the work the following month, at that time, we will debit for half of the $5,000, $2,500 to unearned revenue. That will reduce this liability. And what will we simultaneously credit? The account that is our revenue account. In this case, service revenue. We are permitted to credit service revenue for $2,500 half of that work that we were paid for in advance because we did $2,500 worth of work. Remember, we cannot credit the revenue account for any value until we have done the work or delivered the goods for that much value. So after one month, we are able to credit service revenue for $2,500 if we've done that much work. We debited the unearned revenue. What does that leave the balance in our unearned revenue? we will have a $2,500 balance left on the credit side. There's our balance. And what will happen if in two months we complete the rest of the work? That's right, at that time we would then credit service revenue for the following month for $2,500 and we would debit the unearned revenue and the liability would go to zero. Folks, again, what is unearned revenue? It is a liability account. Why did we credit unearned revenue in this example? Because we received the cash in advance. We received the money before doing the work. We did not yet do the work. We did not yet deliver the goods. So we cannot credit revenue. We have to credit unearned revenue. We are only able to credit the revenue account when what happens? When we either complete work or we deliver the goods. I hope that helps. That was an example of a deferral, specifically with unearned revenue.